Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about the DC original Justice League War World and how I am done with the Tomorrowverse. I can't defend the Tomorrowverse anymore. Um, I like the style of the Tomorrowverse, but this movie was my straw. That It was the straw that broke the camel's back. This movie absolutely makes no logical sense. And it is rushing this universe. It's trying to get to some kind of crisis event already. Like, bitch, we don't, we ain't even had that many movies. We had Superman, Man of Tomorrow, Batman, The Long Halloween Part 1 and Part 2, Green Lantern, First Flight. I mean, um, what? Beware My Power, um, Legion of Superheroes, and um, what? Um, Justice Society, World War II. That's only six movies, plus this one makes seven. Seven movies, and y'all already talking about an, an event when y'all ain't even did a proper Justice League movie. This movie really should have been called The Trinity War World because it has absolutely nothing to do with the Justice League at all. And it felt like three short stories mashed together just to make some kind of movie. Like, mm, there's just so much wrong with this goddamn movie. Um, I can't do it. I, I, I just, I literally cannot do it can i recommend it uh, i i don't know i don't know do you do, do you guys even want to watch it do you want to um watch this chicken shit of a movie like I, i'm sorry the movie's terrible the, the movie is terrible um if you're going to kidnap the justice league the trinity members and put them on war world then it would make more sense for a gladiator style kind of battle I mean, kind of fight like you literally had did um, two storylines where Superman was on War World before do the same thing with Batman, Wonder Woman and Superman, where all three of them are in special arenas that are designed to take them out while they're kind of um, weakened or whatever. Batman figures out what's going on. He figure out how to contact Diana and Superman and maybe they'll go to each other's arenas or something like that swap out enemies or whatever and then you have all three of them team up to take on mongol kind of like a rematch or kind of like a spiritual successor to uh for the man who has everything um arc if you guys read that comic book or seen the justice league animated series um wonder woman batman uh, went against mongol while superman was trapped in his own you know world making or whatever it is mm. I don't know what to tell y'all. The, the the movie really started off starts off with um Wonder Woman in the Wild Wild West and she meets Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex is the bad guy. It, uh, again, taking another her heroic character and making them the bad guy, even if that character's fake or not, it still shouldn't have happened regardless of the situation. Um Wonder Woman st is stopping Jonah Hex's plan from you know, robbing the town or whatever, it, 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 it really doesn't matter, just know that they made Jonah Hex the bad guy in her story, um, and she defeats them, and then it jumps to, um, Batman's story, where he's fighting this, um, this war, um, and he purposely let himself get captured, so they can bring in, um, the warlord to this castle where they, I mean, this castle mountain, where they fight against, um, the, um, the, De um demon god and you know wonder woman is there f for some reason she don't know how she got there but it uh, wonder woman um batman and um warlord team up to take on um demographic whatever um demora shit I, I don't know why i can't pronounce this character's name i'm sorry demagog oh shit I don't know why I'm having a hard time pronouncing this character's name. But anyway, they fight him. Um the warlord kill um shoots shoots him. They um they ask him, hey, you want to come back with us? He was like, No, I gotta stay here. Um Wonder Woman and Batman go to another another entry point, and then they end up in like some kind of post no post. 2000 i mean per, post world war ii maybe or before or after the start of world war ii I, it's not really making that much sense where they run into clark he's agent kent at, at this moment or whatever and you know he's investigating uh alien crash and 
they go to a diner. They um all meet, the Trinity kind of meet each other. They feel like they're familiar with each other. Um, everybody's telling Clark about how they got to kill these aliens. These aliens are in the skies. Um, Clark accidentally touches um Bruce and Diana and starts seeing visions of their their selves of what they're supposed to be or whatever. Um, and then they start fighting the aliens. They get chased by the aliens. They finally get to the alien ship where they run into Martian Manhunter who's been um, locked up by World War to create this hate-filled thing or whatever. Martian Manhunter has been leading um, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman um, in their minds to find him so they can free him. It's kind of crazy. Um, they free him. Lobo shows up. Kind of betrays the, betrays the um the three. Then he unlocks um, but uh, ugh. he betrays them. Then Mongol, which I I, I thought that was Telos honestly because that didn't look like Mongol at all. Anyway, um, Mongol wants the pain and fear and hatred to fuel war war because that's how war war works and he's working with the white Martians. Um, John. John figures out a way how to get out of it. He merges with another white Martian. They become the key to self-destruct the war world. Batman and Superman figure out what was going on. They got their costumes on. Um, they really don't have their memories, though, but they feel like they know each other some kind of way. They fight off the white Martians and Mongol and uh, Martian Manhunter self-destructs um, war world. And then the Harbinger grabs Wonder Woman um batman and superman transport them to the justice league tower and said that you're going you're needed for something greater there's a crisis coming and you and we need you and then the movie goes off like when i tell you that is bullshit that is bullshit like it is literally on the same level of green lanterns um beware my power like what the hell are y'all doing y'all are jumping to events too early without any setup at all like, and honestly, if you ask me, I think that this is what's going to be happening with James Gunn's DC universe, where we're jumping so hard because we're trying to, we're trying to do something. We're trying to catch up. Look, DC animated movies. I'm just going to tell you this right now. Go back to what made y'all good before. Just stop, stop trying to make, um, universal movies where they're all in the same universe. Here's what you should do. Go back to what you used to do when you first started, where you used to just, you know, take random comic books, storylines, and you make a movie based on that storyline. That's what you need to do. Don't do nothing else. Because cause this right here, because you, you already did a universe nonsense that nobody asked you to with the New 52 crap, and you killed that off with just League Dark um, Apocalypse War. You know, now this tomorrow versus it just started and you're already trying to do another crisis event. What are you going to do? Blow up the tomorrow verse and then what we're going to get? A, we're going to get another universe like no, stop it. Stop it with these um, crazy events. Stop with the rushing to try to get somewhere slow and steady or just do one off movies like you did before. I would love to see some some cool storylines from Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman from their classic runs. You know what I'm saying? Being actually animated. You know what I mean? That'll be really cool to kind of see. And maybe um, in the style of the artist. That's another thing that made those movies special is that you based them off of the style of the artist too that was working on that comic book. You know? Like this, this right here is crap. I, I'm sorry, I'm done. I'm done with the tomorrow verse. I, I don't know if I can, if I got another in me. Um, even if I do watch the tomorrow verse movies, I don't know if I can defend tomorrow verse anymore. I, I, I'm done because everybody was saying, oh no, no trade. The tomorrow verse sucks and stuff like that. I was like, no, nah, I don't think it really sucks. I think I just think it, it's just that one movie. But no, it, it, it is, it is everything at this point. Literally, the only good thing is Batman Long Halloween Part 1 and Part 2 because it actually was based on the comic books. You can actually see the storyline from the comic book into this one. But, but for some goddamn reason, after that, y'all just did whatever the fuck y'all wanted to and think that somebody's supposed to continue to support this crap? Oh, no. No, thank you. I'm done. Absolutely not. Um, I give this one probably a 5 out of 10, maybe. Um. It's it's bad. It's bad. It's there with 
um, Green Lantern Beware My Power, but let's be honest, Green Lantern Beware My Power is the worst um, DC animated movie I've ever seen anyway. Um, th there's nothing topping that movie. That movie was garbage, okay? <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't recommend this movie. I'm just being honest. Like, if you really want my honest opinion, I do not recommend recommend this movie at all. I don't even recommend the Tomorrowverse at this point. The only movie, the only two movies, well, maybe there's three movies that I'll suggest that you guys can watch. Um, Batman: The Long Halloween Part One and Part Two because it is close to the story of the Long Halloween and um, Justice Society: World War Two because we don't really get a chance to see the Justice Society that much. Other than that leave everything alone just just don't just don't at this point blow up the damn universe at this point i i i'm done i'm done i'm done you, you killed this one for me dc like holy crap this movie was garbage but yeah those are my thoughts Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and i'll catch you guys later peace out